Well, I'm Alan Williams and um, I'm a metal sculptor uh, come blacksmith. Well originally uh, we, were, we were looking at possibly making big um, the letters D-O-W for the Dow Chemicals and using the skull as the O which is, um, which is I believe what the Bhopalis do when they write Dow. Um, so they have the skull as the O. So we were going to do a, a 6 mil rod frame um, D W with the skull in the middle, um, but then we just decided to just go with the figures and just have the skull on its own, which does sort of represent in its own right sort of the um, Dow Chemicals. I was commissioned to make um, some armatures for uh, some recycled sculpture that's going to Glastonbury. Uh, one thing was a six foot skull uh, representing uh, the Dow Chemical, who we all know and hate, um, and the other thing was uh, an eight foot figure of a woman holding a child. And then we've got five smaller figures, just of uh, people carrying water, and just to sort of show the civilian populace of Bhopal, just to, I imagine, yeah, to raise awareness at Glastonbury Festival. Um, so I've, I've uh, made the armatures, and then I've clad them in um, chicken wire, and then uh, the sculptor Holly, yeah, she's going to um, clad them in uh, recycled materials, I believe. So they should look fantastic once they're all in situ and fully made. So um, making the armatures, working with the six mil rod was like drawing in, in space. So it's quite tricky, you've got these different sort of, uh, it's quite three dimensional, really sort of spatial awareness, kind of overdrive. Uh, and then working with the chicken wire, it was quite hard to clad it, but um, yeah, and I've had quite a blunt, a few blunt pairs of scissors that have got blunter as they've gone on. Um, but it's come together right, it's taken a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> but it always does when you're doing things you don't know, you've never sort of worked in before, usually takes longer than the first time. They're called dogs and they're for bending metal. So you've got sort of a leverage point so you can um, control the bends. And sometimes you work with two pairs so that you can kind of really control the curves. So yeah, fire dogs. Mm -hmm. I've got my trusty MIG welder down there. Just as a point and shoot welder, it's all quite easy to use. Um, but yeah, it's quite powerful and it does good welds. So. Just you know, your average angle grinder B and Q special. Um, I think I got it for ten pounds. Um, yeah, it's just good for cutting cutting the steel, obviously, very quickly, rather than having a hand saw it with a hacksaw. Um, I just use my just use a trusty old pair of scissors. They're now very blunt, <laughs> and thousands of cable ties. I think at first we at first we thought we were going to just use a hundred cable ties. Um, I think I've, I'm predicting to use about 900 now. <laughs> I knew about uh, the sort of tragedy in Bhopal. Um, I didn't know uh, too much about the BMA charity organisation um, until I sort of got involved in the project, really. Um, so yeah, my, my, my information was limited. Uh, I've done a little bit of research and looking at the website and things like that, and finding out sort of more about. Um, how the tragedy occurred and sort of how many people it affected and how it affected them. Um, which was, yeah, it's quite horrific really. Actually, it's a lot more horrific than I'd ever imagined.